Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanathanari. Now we are the discuss topic how to add a 95% confidence interval in bar graph or Excel software. So this is for the 95% of confidence interval add to the bar graph in Excel software. So this is the data set. We take the data set for the five different treatments and three time replication for the plant height and the descriptive statistics for the the table the mean value the number of samples the standard deviation standard error and two standard error so the what is the two standard error multiplying the standard error by two simple result by the doubling the value using two times the standard error can provide a winder interval around the sample sa sample statistics which can be useful for the confidence interval of statistics estimations so this is a um, table the table used to do the add to the confidence interval in the bar graph so the move the move to the next sheet this is a table so the now the calculate for the mean value so the calculation method for the mean the equal to average average open the bracket and select for the value and close the bracket and click to the enter so the mean value and the another treatment selected for the t1 cell track to the t5 so the calculate for the mean value and the decimal options for the two so use to, to the descriptive uh, decrease the decimal options so the dot after the two value so the number of uh, samples so enter the equal count count open the bracket select for the sample close the bracket click enter so the number of sample for the three under standard deviation calculator select for the cell so the equal stdev open the bracket select the value and close the bracket click to the enter so calculate the standard deviation use the decimal options enter to the two value so now the calculate for the standard error so equal open the bracket select for the standard deviation value and close the bracket slash open the bracket enter for the sqrt open the bracket and select for the number of the total number of the data the total number of data is 3 and close the bracket and close the end of the bracket click to the enter so now the calculate for the standard error okay now the calculate for the two standard error so the equal number of two and select to the shift and press eight key the star uh, star for the int so the select to the standard error value click to the enter now the calculate for the two standard error okay now created for the bar graph in the excel software so the go to the insert menu and select for the bar graph so the create to the empty graph and right click select to the data options so the open the new tab for the select data source so the legend enter series for the add to the click the add button so, so the series name for the treatment okay next for a series value enter mean value okay enter the mean value remove the value and select to the mean value okay then click to ok and go to the edit options so the xhs label add to the t1 to t5 okay then click to ok then ok okay this is a bar graph and now customized for the bar graph in the xs after so the choose for the chart element options 
unclick for the chart title and unclick for the grain line options so the now the select for the graph select for the bar chart and choose to right click and uh, click to the format data series so go to the fill and bucket options the border options the border selected to the black color and width 1.5 okay then select for the single bar graph change to the color fill the color okay the next one color choose the next one color okay then choose the next one color okay the first t1 color change okay now the change the color and uh, select to the graph and go to the border options select to the border for the black color and with 1.5 okay then selected for the outer border so the outer border for the no lines okay then select for the whole the graph choose chart element options add to the title so this is for the treatment treatments so the y axis axis title for the plant height unit for centimeter okay the next add to the data label value add label value and select for the label and uh, change to the uh, text direction for the the rotate all text 270 degree okay then choose for the last one options the label options the label position for the inside of the base so go to the insert menu and select for the whole the graph and change to the font time roman and font size for the 12 okay then select to the color of the black okay then now add to the conference interval value in the bar graph so the select the bar and select for the chart element options choose to for the error bar options click to the more options so the below the sections go to the below sections click to the customs option specific value and the pass to enter the value remove the value and select to the two standard error value and the same also the negative value remove the value and select to the two error value okay then click to okay okay now the selected for the bar conference interval bar go to the fill and bucket options then color for the black and change with 1.5 okay okay this is for the how to add 95 percentage of conference interval value into the bar graph for the excel software if you have any doubt on this video leave me the comments in the comment box i will help you and uh, if you like this video click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership okay thank you